Live from Local 2, home of Click2Houston.com, this is KPIC Local 2 News at 10. Well, he's made headlines all around the world for controversial cancer treatments, which some say saved lives, but others say have never been proven to work. Now, as Local 2 investigator Stephen Dean reports, the Houston doctor is facing a lawsuit from a patient who says she didn't get what she paid for and that it cost her a whole lot more than she ever expected. He's been known for decades as a doctor with unconventional and controversial cancer treatments, gaining fame from appearances on shows like Sally Jesse Raphael in the 80s to more recently being featured in Suzanne Summers' book about doctors curing cancer. But Houstonians may remember Dr. Stanislaw Brzezinski best from his clinical trial in the mid-90s when his technique of using a healthy person's urine to help heal cancer patients was called into question. He was cleared of any wrong doing as patients rallied around him, calling him a pioneer who's saving countless lives. Well, tonight, Dr. Brzezinski's lawyer says he's still saving lives at his Katy Freeway clinic, but how he's doing it is drawing new accusations. I'd like to see them shut down. 61-year-old Lola Quinlan came from Florida to Houston after seeing a video for Dr. Brzezinski online. It sounded like the only answer for her stage four cancer as she tried to avoid chemo and radiation. It was so perfect that you know, I couldn't even believe it. But Quinlan is now suing Dr. Brzezinski in part because she says her credit card was charged $60,000 without her permission and she's angry about it. Then they were giving me this one medicine that they made me go to their pharmacy to buy. She says she thought the drug was some special invention that Dr. Brzezinski brags about on his website. But she says she then found out it was a drug that anyone can buy at any pharmacy for half the price. When you're preying on people who have cancer, uh, it's the worst of the worst, if you ask me. And Quinlan isn't the only patient to complain. In 2010, Dr. Brzezinski was investigated by the Texas Medical Board after a patient with brain, lung, and liver cancer said she was not told she was buying her drugs at a pharmacy that Dr. Brzezinski owned. In that woman's case, he was cited for using medicines that weren't approved for her condition. In Quinlan's case, her lawyer says the care she received at Brzezinski Clinic actually prevented other treatment from going forward at another clinic. One of the last things that may go through her head, unfortunately, is that this doctor got the best of her when she could have potentially made a recovery. But Dr. Brzezinski's lawyer, Richard Jaffe, says no one's being scammed at the clinic. He says after three months, Quinlan's tumors actually got smaller, so the treatment was working. She says she was defrauded, uh, and she didn't know what these drugs were, but she signed multiple informed consent forms. She has a billing agreement. Jaffe says Quinlan must be confused about what drug she got because she was never given the one drug that Dr. Brzezinski is allowed to use in clinical trials. Jaffe says everything else Brzezinski prescribes is approved and it's helping people. So the idea that sick people are being scammed? Oh, that's nonsense. I mean, I mean the answer is, you know, you want five patients with the same condition you want. You, uh, we, we can give you dozens of brain cancer patients that have been cured by Dr. Brzezinski. Now, as for the patient who's now suing. She reversed the charges on her credit card, so Dr. Brzezinski's lawyer points out that only the doctor is out any money for her treatment. Stephen Dean, KPRC Local 2. Dr. Brzezinski's lawyer went on to say that the doctor's pharmacy marks up the cost of medicine like any other pharmacy. He also says only some of his patients are given drugs that Brzezinski himself invented as part of an FDA-approved clinical trial, and he says those patients understand the risks of that clinical trial. Chief Meteorologist Frank Billingsley is with us now.